Good morning, YTPC. Uh, Chris here, Bingham Briar from Robin Hood County, uh, Nottingham in the UK. I uh, hope everybody's okay and keeping well, and especially the people who are, have been affected by these floods over here. Uh, I feel very sorry for anybody that's had to vacate their premises. But uh, at the moment here, we've got a lot of grey cloud around and it's very, 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 very windy. Anyway, I'm smoking this morning uh, tobacco by GLPs uh, and it's Quiet Nights, an English blend, Latakia blend. Uh, I'm smoking it in this year's Stanwell Pipe of the Year. Oh, sorry, last year's actually, 2020. Uh, pipe of the Year in the brushed finish. It's a nice pipe. And I've dedicated this to English blends. But I'll get on to the tobacco in a moment. First of all, I'd just like to do a few shout outs. Uh, I'd like to thank one or two people that have uh, come over to my channel and they're giving me a lot of support. Uh, people like Jeffrey Alton Carter, the Renaissance Piper, who, who subbed me a long while ago. Paul Gilson, uh, the Pittsburgh Piper. Now, Bass Piper or Bass Piper, it's B A S P I P E R. I don't know if it's pronounced Bass or Bass. Brian Doran, Beans 316, I'm sure everybody knows him. He's the only man in, in the world that can open a tin of tobacco just with his hand. And if you've ever tried it, you've probably got the broken nails like I have to prove it. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Um, and of course, everybody knows the bearded Welshman. My friend John Williams, who I've uh, been speaking to quite a lot over the last couple of years. Uh, thank you very much, John, for supporting me and uh, saying, the, saying the nice things about me. I, I do, do appreciate it. In fact, I appreciate everybody that, that has come over and had a look at my channel. Uh, thank you all. And I, of course, I watch you as well. So, uh, you know, it's tit for tat. Uh, and I do like the uh, everybody else's content. Anyway. With that out of the way, and uh, with my thanks, uh, I'll get back to what I'm smoking today. Now, I started um, trying out the English blends, GLPs, because I uh, GLPs blends, uh, and I started uh, with the um, Westminster, the Maltese Falcon, the Chelsea Morning, and of course, this one, Quiet Nights. I like them all, they're all very, very good, very good blends. Uh, Gregory Peace, I think, is a is a, an incredible uh, tobacco blender. But to quote somebody else, the Camudgeon Piper, uh, Dougie, love at first smoke for me was quiet nights. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I, I could smoke this all day. In fact, I often do. Um, and it's it's one of those tobaccos that. Excuse me. When you when you when you have your first bowl, you know you know it's going to be with you for good. Uh, so I've stocked up with that. Uh, I keep keep quite a large jar full of it. Uh, but then obviously I have tins in the cellar to top up the jar. And this is what it looks like. It's it's like it's it's a lovely. Broken cake, more like. What did it? Well, what, it's actually. Com, it, the contents are mature Red Virginia, some very fine Orientals, Cypriot Latakia, and some Arcadian Perique, uh, Acadian Perique, which is uh, and not too much, but enough to make its presence known. Uh, you get that uh, little nice spicy, peppery, uh, retro hail. <laughs> That little bit of a zing from it, so you know it's there, but it's not overdone. Uh, the it's all matured and pressed into cakes before being sliced like it is. So it's not finely sliced; they're more like broken cakes, uh, and uh, I, I, I quite like that because you can put them straight into your bowl, 
uh, you get a long smoke from it. I, I don't rule them out too much after that. I just just stuff them straight in, and, it, and it's a lovely smoke. But every component plays its own part, and it doesn't overshadow the other components. So, like, it's not a Latakia bomb, but everything blends so well together. It's as smooth as can be. You get sweetness. You get the smokiness from the Latakia. And I prefer this to the much lauded Holy Grail, uh, which is Penzance. And I've got just under eight ounces of that, which I do occasionally have a bowl of. But quite honestly, I prefer this. And, uh, and it's a lot more available and much easier to get hold of. Uh, it's a nice, nice, pleasant room aroma, so I'm informed uh, by other people. Not quite as bad as some things. Uh, so I would recommend it to anybody. It is my favourite English blend and I will be smoking this forever. Um, one more thing before I go. I'd like to mention something that I stumbled across by accident. I got, a, I got an email uh, from Smoking Pipes just before Christmas and uh, saying that they've got some Mac Baron uncut navy flake and I thought oh that, that must be a new one Mac Baron are bringing out and this is it uh, so it says plug under there but I never really took much notice of it I thought oh that'll be nice I'll put that tin away and I was talking to the Warwickshire Piper the other night on the phone uh, Johnny Mullis and I read the tin properly and then I realised that my tin was number 288 out of 1500 and it was a limited edition made for smokingpipes.com for their 20th anniversary. So I went online last night uh, to see if, uh, of course, it's all the 1500 tins sold out straight away. Mine arrived beginning of January. So I don't really know if I want to open this or not. Uh, I might keep it and see if they have another run of it. I don't know whether it's going to go into full production as a McBaron line or it's just going to be made specifically for smoking pipes. It's got smoking pipes on the label, so I don't know. If I can get another tin, I shall open this one. But if not, I think I'll keep it for a bit longer. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon. I'm still awaiting a couple of parcels. Uh, one's at Heathrow, so that should be here probably tomorrow and the other one can't be too far away from Germany one's from Cup of Joe's and one's I've told you before and one's from uh, Estival's house in Germany so I'll speak about those when they arrive thanks for watching and I'll see you soon possibly at the weekend bye bye now